Empty calories versus a metabolic hormonal effect. If obesity is an energy balance disorder, the worst we can say about it is it's empty calories, okay? It brings energy to the diet and it's empty of vitamins, minerals, protein, anything else you might need. And one of the belief systems, if you consume a lot of sugar, then you have to over consume everything else to get the vitamins and minerals you need. So that's the empty calories. This metabolic hormonal effect, this is how Robert Lustig at UCSF, who's kind of the leading proponent of the sugar theory, he gets a lot of credit for pushing this when it was very unpopular. 100 calories of sugar, 50-50 fructose and glucose is metabolized differently from 100 calories of glucose alone, which is metabolized differently from 100 calories of protein or 100 calories of fat. The hormonal responses are entirely different, entirely different. Why would you expect the response of the body to be identical just because they have the same calories? So Lustig says that one thing is isocaloric, but is it isometabolic? And it certainly isn't.